I, I said today, if you read the papers, that there is light, that I'm seeing positivity. Let us not look back. Let us not be pessimistic. And the banking sector will help us here. As we take note of the fact that over 80% of jobs in Kenya are supported by MSMEs, we recognize that interventions aimed at revitalizing MSMEs would go a long way in tackling our long-standing unemployment problem among the youth of Kenya. In this regard, Your Excellency, we have a chance to collaborate with players in the private sector, such as the Kenya Bankers Association, to trigger stronger progress towards economic transformation that we so desire and are determined to achieve. As the line ministry, we are committed to supporting initiatives that bring together players through private-public partnerships that are more sustainable, affordable for all players, and ensuring harmony in the design of policy and guidelines of market conduct. I think we need to also be very clear as a country. There are some mega infrastructural developments that we cannot fund through exchequer. We must look for alternative financing, and therefore PPP, new as it is in this country, much as people don't understand it, we must make the citizens of Kenya understand PPP and understand that when we give out a project to be done through PPP, it is not selling. It is about concessioning that project to a private developer who works with us collaboratively to ensure that we have infrastructure that is competitive enough. Rwanda is developing a very serious, has developed a serious uh, airport. Ethiopia has an airport. Kenya cannot lag behind. We are losing our competitiveness as the hub in this region. And therefore, whether it is Adani or whoever it is, we must agree that someone must do our airport. And that communication must go out. And it is not just airport alone. Major projects. Let us not shy away from engaging Kenyans. And Your Excellency, I know you will speak about more of these things. I want to stop because when your boss is around, you don't speak too much. Allow me, Your Excellency, at, that young, at this juncture, to invite the Prime Cabinet Secretary, uh, the Honorable uh, Musali Amudavadi, to come and address us and invite you to speak. Thank you. Thank you, uh, the Honorable um, Bandi. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, uh, my colleague Bandi, Governor of Central Bank, the leadership and members of the banking fraternity present here today and the MSMEs. Good morning. Uh, Your Excellency, I'll just pick up one or two things. First, I would like us to recollect that in this very building, KICC, earlier in the year, you led the world in conjunction with the World Bank in calling for the IDA 21 replenishment, and you pitched for the world to raise close to 120 billion US dollars to be targeted towards concessional financing. In the same building, you also led the same call, but for the African Development Bank to replenish their 17th uh, round and you are pitching for about 25 billion US dollars. And the message when you were doing this was that we need to have an inclusive and agile financial system that targets those who are generally underserved, particularly if we have to grow. Therefore, this meeting here, uh, I think, is very important because as you call for that global approach, it is important that your home base, your own financial institutions, are also financially stable, agile, and inclusive, and pro-people in their models. The second thing I would just want to point out 
is that I want to pick up from where Mbandi did touch, that we have sound economic, macroeconomic policies, and the governor also alluded to this. And perhaps one of the quickest way to point out this is, how do you explain when global giants like JP Morgan are struggling to have a footing in Kenya. I think this is a stamp of approval of the financial and economic policies that are being pursued. Otherwise, they would not want to have a footing in this place. So that is testimony that we can achieve a lot if we work together. Finally, Your Excellency, I was in Kwale uh, on your behalf and this was to do with affordable housing, something that you have passionately pursued. And uh, in the comments that were made there is that the projects that are ongoing now have generated subcontracts valued at five billion shillings for the medium and small enterprises. Five billion contracts, subcontracts, whether they are doors, whether they are frames, and other aspects that are required for this affordable housing. So there is a great synergy that can be developed and that can be leveraged on if we can have the proper focus so that uh, we move forward uh, and uplift the people of Kenya. With these remarks, Your Excellency, it is now my honor to request the members to be upstanding so that we can usher you to the podium to make your remarks. Asante sana. A round of applause will do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's take our seats. Asante sana. Thank you.